Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tutor. Uh, here we're going to conclude our practice with these important properties that we have on the board here. And we're going to do that by working a couple of final problems here. Um, okay, we'll have the Laplace Transform of t times e to the 2t times cosine of 3t. That's what we want to find. Now this is a, a different kind of problem. It looks quite complicated because we have lots of things in here. Three different terms kind of multiplied together. So you stare at this for a while, um, but then you realize, well, I do know how to, how to take the Laplace transform of the cosine. That's something I know. In fact, I can go over here and just refresh my memory on that. Laplace of a cosine beta t is going to be s over s squared plus beta squared, depending on what's in there. In that case, it's 3, so it'll be a 3 squared. All right, I know how to do that. But then I have the t and the e to the 2t, okay? But then you have to realize that I can do things in sequence. I can do things in sequence. In fact, this guy, the exponential here, is going to lead to a shift, right? Anytime I have an exponential multiplied by a function, um, I need to be able to realize that it's going to basically lead to shifting in the s domain. So I can do that last. If I look at everything left over, then I'm quickly going to realize that I actually know how to take the Laplace transform of everything else left over besides this exponential which would be t times cosine 3t. It's not in my table, but when I go over here and realize that I can use the second differentiation formula, then I become much happier. I know how to take this, uh, this Laplace transform. I transform the cosine, I'll know how to do that, and since it's t to the first power, it's going to be the first derivative, and then it'll be just negative 1 here. So I know how to do this. I can get the answer, and then I can shift it because of that. All right, so then what I'll have is, It'll be negative d ds, first derivative. Negative comes from what was out in front of the Laplace transform of a cosine. And I just went and showed you that it was s over s squared plus 9. The 9 comes from the fact that it's 3 squared. All right, so we'll carry this negative sign out here. And then I will open up a big bracket. You can do this derivative any way you want. I'm going to do a quotient, which is going to be the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. You learn that back in calculus one, and unfortunately we have to, have to remember some things. So we have the bottom, which is s squared plus nine, times the derivative of the top, which is just one, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is just two s, over the bottom squared, s squared plus nine, squared. So far this looks kind of ugly. Let's simplify it and hope, hope that it gets a little bit better. And so I have a negative here. So as I'm simplifying, I'm going to distribute this negative in. So this is just times 1. So really it becomes negative s squared